This is a video product review of the Wateski Smart Outdoor Dimmer. It is a plug-in dimmer with two sockets. It is compatible with Alexa, Google Home. This will run on a 2.4 gigahertz router. It will not work on a 5 gigahertz router. It is capable of dimming up to 350 watts. It is IP44 waterproof and it is for dimmable light strings. This smart plug-in dimmer is equipped with IP44 waterproof construction and it is splash resistant. It's ideal for outdoors. It is weather and impact resistant to ensure you can control your string lights in weather changes. You should not soak this in water or keep this in heavy rain. I am going to show you how to connect this now to the app. We have the outlets on the side, we have the on-off switch, we have an indicator light, and we have the grounded power plug. The power button can be used as a reset button, but it will erase all of your settings and go back to the factory default. So only use that if you want to reset all your settings. When you are setting this up, the indicator light, constant green, means that the Wi-Fi is connected. And when it is blinking with a fast green, that means you are in pairing mode. When the light is off, that means the power is off. The current rating for this unit is 3 amps, 350 watts maximum load, 120 volts, 60 hertz. You need to install the Smart Life app on your cell phone. The instructions will guide you through how to set up a Smart Life account, how to get it set up to talk to your router. After you do that, you are going to connect the Smart Life app to the plug. So what we do is we go over to Smart Life app, start it up, then we are going to plug the dimmer into the power. We're going to turn it on and we should have a flashing green light. Flashing, that's what you want. And then we have a message that already comes up and says about to be added, which is a nice thing because that's never uh, that doesn't always happen. If that doesn't happen, then what you'll do is you go in the top right, you click on the plus, and you should get a message that says socket Wi-Fi, but it already wants to add it, so I'm just going to allow it to add the thing right now. Make sure the lights are flashing. Outdoor smart dimmer, it is already done. If this light is not flashing with a flashing green light, press the button to turn it off, start it back up, and you should get the flashing green light after you get that. Then you will install your dimmer smart socket. You can either click on the blue cross in the top right hand corner of the screen or you can allow this to do it automatically. Once we have this, we're going to click on plus. The screen is going to come up. It's going to list your Wi-Fi account. There we have mine, and I don't want you to see the password, but we have the Wi-Fi account over there. Now we're connecting. It should take about 15 to 20 seconds for everything to connect. And when that happens, this light will go steady. It's already doing the connecting now because the pairing is taking place. The green light has stopped flashing. We have a solid green light. We are going to get a connection. We might even get Alexa to say that it's connected in a few seconds, but around 15 seconds or so. And you can control it by saying, turn off outdoor smart dimmer. There we go. So it says we can control it by saying, turn off outdoor smart dimmer. So Alexa has already detected this. If Alexa does not detect it, then what you're going to want to do is run your Alexa app, tell it to do discover or discovery. It will go and search for a new item. It will find this smart dimmer, and Alexa will be able to work with the Smart Life app and your dimmer control. We have a pen to the right of the screen name, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. And Outdoor Smart Dimmer, that is a lot of uh, wording. You can just rename it to Dimmer. Sometimes Alexa does not recognize your voice and the different words, so if you say this word, it might not know it. So just limit it down to Dimmer now, and we'll see what happens. We named it to Dimmer. I'm going to save it. Now we have it named Dimmer. Device successfully added, and we are ready to use this. Click done, and now we're going to get the screen for the dimmer. We see over here we've got power on, power off. We have a timer, we have a countdown timer, we have the dimmer settings. Let's check out the dimmer settings over here. Uh, mode one, mode two, mode three, percentage of dimming, 
We can save that. We can go over to the countdown, and that's your countdown for uh, the lighting. And we also have a timer, timer control. We can control, we can set up a timer schedule if we want to. That is the Smart Life app showing that we have power off. I'm press on the switch over here. I'm going to turn the power on to the unit. And we have brightness. We have a light that's in the background. I'm going to show that to you in a minute. We've got brightness at 100. I'm going to go over to the dimmer settings. And I'm going to control this. Up at the top of the app, we have the lamp type. You click on that, and you get your different options. Your dimmable LED, an incandescent, a halogen light. We have the cancel button. So right now, I am using an incandescent. So I'm going to click on that. And I want you to be able to see the light dimming. So we have the incandescent over here. We have brightness at 6%. We click on this button over here. That gives us the brightness level. And now I want to show you the bulb so you can see what's happening. I am going to move my finger up, and you can already see the brightness in the background. But let me show you what that looks like. Looking directly at the bulb, we can make this 100%, or we can dim this all the way down. So again, as I said, you can use this for halogen. You can use this for an incandescent light. You can do this for an LED dimmable bulb. You can do this for light strings that you have outside your house on your balcony, for Christmas lights, anything that has a dimmable bulb on it. You have full control. And then let me show you what I just did over here. I clicked on the bulb, and I have my light on, and I have my light off, light on, light off. We have the dimmer control settings that I just showed you over here, where you can control the different types of bulbs that this will work on, and the brightness of the bulb. And we have timers so you can set it for how long you want the light to stay on, and a countdown timer for when you want the bulbs to go on and off. These are great for putting on lighting outside, Christmas lights, decorative lights, lights in your balcony, dimmable lighting strings, and you have full control over everything. Now let me show you this working with Alexa. Remember, I renamed it Dimmer, so let's try this. Alexa, well let me show you the bulb. Let me show you how this works with Alexa connected. Alexa, Dimmer on. Okay. Alexa, Dimmer off. Okay. Alexa, Dimmer on. Okay. Alexa, dimmer 50%. Okay. Alexa, dimmer 100%. Okay. Alexa, dimmer 5%. Alexa, dimmer off. Okay. So that is how you use the Witeski Smart Outdoor Dimmer for incandescent lights, for string lights, for halogen lights, for dimmable LED lights, I will leave an affiliate link in the video description. Okay. Click on that link and you will be able to purchase the Witeski Smart Outdoor Dimmer.